I knew that this story started with where we left off in Breaking Bad, but I had no idea where it was heading. This is very much a Breaking Bad movie. It feels a bit like old home week. It feels a bit like deja vu, and yet it also feels like something fresh and new. Aaron getting to star in his own movie, the Jesse Pinkman story post Breaking Bad. I've been looking forward to doing this for years. It was just so strange to see the script in hand, and it just said Vince Gilligan, special project. Vince did such an excellent job at the end of Breaking Bad but I really felt like there was one story that was not fully explored, and that was Jesse's. I think the story of this film is really about the struggle to survive. You know, it follows a man on the run who will truly stop at nothing to finally become free. You guys ready? Oh, uh, yeah. It's so good, like how close he is. You could feel it. Obviously, we thought this thing was done but it still very much lives and breathes in all of us. It was worth the 21 takes, tell you that. So much time had passed, but we're all still so close. And so it was just like old friends coming together. It was like coming home. It was like uh, going back to your high school reunion if your high school sold meth. <laughs> OK, pictures up, here we go. And action. I think all of our fans will just be so thrilled to see this next chapter. I think it really gives some closure for this character. You ready? Yeah. Hey, it's Lisa, stay with me for more on TV. Do you know who the top three highest paid TV stars are? Well, Johnny Galecki from The Big Bang Theory with 25 million, Jim Parsons also from The Big Bang Theory with 26.5 million, and coming at number one is Sofia Vergara from Modern Family with 42.5 million. Hmm, now who is your favorite TV actor or actress? Now also, do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself. The link is in the description.